are eggs good or bad? Well, for years, the message has been they're bad because eating eggs definitely bumps up the LDL cholesterol levels. This is the so-called bad cholesterol. And people with cardiovascular disease typically have high LDL levels. So one in one makes two. Eggs are a health risk. But eggs also raise HDL cholesterol levels, the so-called good cholesterol, since people with cardiovascular disease also typically have low HDL cholesterol, and HDL cholesterol seems to be protective, on paper at least, this should be good. In fact, when it comes to cholesterol levels, high LDL is a sign of trouble, but low HDL is actually the marker for metabolic syndrome. So, where does this leave eggs? Join us for this episode of Better Body Chemistry TV as we look at the pros and cons of an egg breakfast. Better Body Chemistry TV is brought to you by Dr. Sandy, a scientist turned gremlin buster, helping you battle sugar gremlins, heffalumps, and other health horribles through better body chemistry. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health. Now, if truth be told, there's been a bit of flip-flopping on the advice regarding egg consumption. The pendulum has swung, and the thinking that an egg a day will kill you has shifted to, well, eggs are not really an issue. Well, this is what has happened in the higher echelons of nutritional power. But the message has not filtered through to the ground floor. Most people still worry about their egg consumption. For some, the worry translates to avoiding eggs like the plague. For others, well, they opt to eat the other half of the egg. The yolk is the food. The white is actually the packaging. So should we be eating an egg every day? Well, when it comes to eggs, we're definitely not at the point where health gurus actively encourage egg breakfasts. A bowl of oatmeal is still recommended. But is this really good advice? Eggs are more than cholesterol. In fact, eggs are mother's nature's multivitamin pulp. They are loaded with goodies. First off, they're a protein source, and mixed into the protein matrix are most vitamins and minerals, plus a few extras. A group of researchers based at the University of Connecticut decided it was time to look beyond the cholesterol story. The team decided to rank breakfast options based on two other nutrients found in eggs. One you want, carotenoids, these are a type of antioxidants, and one you don't want. Yes, cholesterol has a rival for the title of nutrient non grata. This is not an ingredient you'll find on the label. TMAO is short for trimethylamine N oxide. It's made from trimethylamine, which is made from choline, carnitine, and betaine. Now, the trimethylamine is an actual fact made by some species of bacteria living in your gut, and your liver adds the oxide. It turns out, people who are at risk of cardiovascular disease typically have more TMAO levels than they should. Of course, people with metabolic problems have imbalances in pretty much everything, TMAO being well, the tip of the iceberg. But it is a worry, especially because one of the extras in eggs is a nutrient called choline. Now, for the record, you need choline. It turns out you can in fact make it, but you might not. And it's when this happens that people run short. So 
it's complicated. Anyway, back to our study. The Connecticut team tracked cholesterol, carotenoids, and TMAO levels in 50 young, healthy people when they started their day with different breakfasts. Breakfast 1 consisted of two eggs. Breakfast 2 comprised a bowl of oatmeal. Now, each breakfast was consumed for four weeks, and then there was a three-week break between breakfast options. The nutritional breakdown of the breakfasts is very different. The egg breakfast had 12 grams of protein, no grams of carbohydrate, and 10 grams of fat, whereas the oatmeal breakfast had 4 grams of protein, 33 grams of carbohydrate, and 2 grams of fat. So, to see the big picture, the team asked participants to track their diets and exercise habits for three days prior to the blood draws. So, what happened? Well, the carotenoids were up. But it turned out that the egg breakfast didn't spike carotenoid intake. The dietary record suggested both groups got about the same amount. Carotenoids are considered to be fat-soluble vitamins. This means to get them out of the food and into your blood, they should be consumed with fat. Now this is something eggs excel at, giving them a potential advantage. And this was in fact seen in the breakfast study. An egg breakfast put more carotenoids into the system. If you're thinking, so what? Carotenoids are a type of antioxidant, and their biggest claim to fame is they're concentrated in the eye and have been shown to be important for the prevention of age-related macular degeneration. So it's a case of score one for the eggs. But what about the TMAO? Well, choline definitely got a boost. As expected, eating eggs for breakfast definitely bumped up the choline levels. More was consumed and more went in. This is score two for the eggs. Remember, choline is considered an essential nutrient. So the question is, was there a dark side? Well, despite increases in choline consumption, there was no evidence of a spike in TMAO levels when people ate an eggy breakfast. So it's score three for eggs. Eggs trump oatmeal. So enjoy them for breakfast, for lunch, or dinner. They're a relatively inexpensive source of protein, which provide excellent nutrition. And they won't up your odds of suffering a heart attack. In fact, they might just do the opposite, helping you create better body chemistry and better health. Interested in discovering more ways to create better body chemistry or need a little help getting your body chemistry on track? Visit our website at www.betterbodychemistry.com, browse our library, or enroll in one of our courses or programs. The advice is simple to follow and based on real science, not hype know someone who is afraid of eggs. Share this video with them so they get a new perspective on the nutritional powers of an egg. And if this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you catch future episodes of Better Body Chemistry TV. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health.